Hey everyone, welcome to the review and overview of the Toshiba Satellite S55A5154 uh, 15.6 uh, inch laptop. So I bought this on Amazon for $789.99, so $790 basically. Um, and I think it's a pretty good buy, so here are some of the specs. Um, it, it has an Intel Core i7 4700 2.4 gigahertz processor. Um, it's pretty confident in handling everything that I've thrown at it uh, so far. I haven't done heavily, heavy video editing, so I've yet to try that out. But that will definitely be covered in a future video. Um, but next, there it has 8GB of DIMM RAM and allows for moderate to heavy uh, multitasking. Uh, it's pretty good for gaming, actually. Um, it has one terabyte, 5400 uh, RPM hard drive, and it's great for your your documents, your games, your music. Uh, I think it's uh, pretty much enough for everything that I've uh, been using the t laptop for. Um, it has mobile Intel HD graphics, which really is kind of the downside of this laptop. Uh, Intel has never been known to make uh, great graphics chips, and this is no exception. I really think it, they would have done much better with an NVIDIA graphics chip, like some of the Toshiba satellites have, but since this is kind of a lower end version, uh, that's what they put into this. Um, it has Windows 8.1, so the latest software. Um, and the battery life is actually pretty good. Uh, it has four hours for moderate use. Um, and the screen resolution is 1366 by 768. So it's pretty good. So some of the hardware. Um, it has one USB 2.0 port. Um, and it has a, it has two USB 3.0 ports. Um, the weight is 5.1 pounds, and that's actually pretty good for a laptop. Just try to open this up. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to open up this computer. It's hard to do it with one hand. So as you can see, this is the... I'm back, by the way. So you can see this is the quality of the screen. It's actually pretty good. I have a Battlefield 4 background right here. Um, it's a full HD screen, so you're expecting full HD, and it doesn't disappoint. Um, back to the uh, list of specs. It, so the weight is 5.1 pounds, uh, it has a DVD slash CD uh, writer, reader writer right here, Let's see if I can open that up. Uh, it's not a Blu-ray player, you can get an external one if you want, but I think this is fine. Um, so my thoughts on it, uh, the keyboard. So what's pretty awesome is that it's a backlit keyboard, as you can see. Um, and it's really nicely spaced, it's pretty evenly spaced. I think it's great for typing, great for gaming, great for really whatever uh, you need to do with a keyboard. Um, and But there's a little bit flexing when you press in, but it's very, very sturdy. Very sturdy, and I like that in a keyboard. Um, I find kind of this, I find this kind of odd, but instead of uh, the function keys being a whole set, whole set above all of the Toshiba's keys right here, I find it's kind of weird that they, you have to press the function and then F in the F button up here. Uh, I, that's, I find that kind of weird. I I don't know if any other computers have that, that same kind of quirk, but please leave it in the com comment section if you know. Um, but that, that's kind of my thoughts on that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, so the keypad. Um, I find it it's kind of flimsy, and when you click it, it doesn't have a satisfying click. I find that if you want to make a good key uh, mouse pad and not want people to buy a whole new mouse like this you need to make the mouse pad really really nice um, and I, I the Toshiba satellites mouse pad doesn't do it for me uh, it feels very flimsy it feels like it could break so I settled with the e blue uh, gaming mouse right here I, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to see my video on that it's a really good mouse actually um, but the mouse pad supports all the Windows 8 uh, touch gestures it's got a button right here that locks the mouse on the screen uh, you can't move it but you can use a uh, mouse pad I mean a mouse key uh, external mouse like this so that's a pretty cool feature let's see uh, what else so the aesthetics um, it's got a really nice brushed aluminum feel it feels really really good and if you see the screen look how thin that is it's really amazing great job Toshiba um, so I find it's great uh, great form factor, very thin, and the screen, as I said before, is really, really thin, so I like that a lot. Um, and also, the button layout and where the uh, power button is, it looks great, and the speakers look great as well. 
and now onto the speakers. So what's what's kind of the selling point uh, for Toshiba is the Harman Kardon edition speakers. Um, and while this is, you know, I guess you could call it a gimmick, but it's actually better sound than um, a regular computer speakers. I know that's what they want you to think since uh, this is probably one of the selling points of the Toshiba satellite. But it's definitely, definitely better than um, regular computer speakers. And I think if you're looking for something better than regular computer speakers and these, this is the computer for you. Uh, but you're never going to find great speakers for a laptop, unfortunately. Uh, but maybe, maybe in the future. Um, and so for gaming, um, it's nothing special. It can run Minecraft and Team Fortress True and Ghost Protocol, uh, Ghost, sorry, Ghost Protocol Phantom, Phantoms right there. You might be able to see that. I'm not quite sure of the full name. Hold on, let me just check that out. Ghost, Ghost Recon Phantoms. There we go. Okay. Uh, you're able to play that really well, but on a lower quality setting. And Minecraft is perfectly fine. It's usually pretty good on every uh, uh, computer. But Team Fortress 2 is actually really, really smooth on it. I find that kind of surprising since this this is an Intel HD graphics and not using an NVIDIA chip or anything like that. Um, it's really, really well. Uh, really well. Or plays really well. These three games. Uh, Planetside 2, not so much. Uh, the graphics have to be turned down really, really low. Um, but overall, these three games work really well, and so do Flash games like on the on the web and things like that. Um, but as you know, Intel graphics aren't that good. Um, I'm still waiting for a breakthrough where Intel graphics will be better than NVIDIA or anything else like that, but surprise me. I will definitely buy that computer in the future. Um, so I'll definitely, definitely do a video in the future on how the graphics perform. I'll do some footage. I'll show you um, how the graphics do for work for Minecraft and Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Phantoms. Uh, and definitely Team Fortress 2, because that's my new favorite game. But uh, in the future, I also may do a video comparing the Harman Kardon edition speakers with regular speakers on other computers. So... This has basically been my overview of the Toshiba satellite. Let me just get the name again. S55A5154 15.6 inch laptop. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and, and subscribe if you did. Definitely more reviews and overviews and stuff coming in the future. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.